So, what's going on guys, and welcome back to episode number 9 of our Portsmouth career mode. And we are going to be kicking off this episode with an away game up against Accrington Stanley at Town Park. So, as you can see here, we are going to be going with our strongest lineup as always. But I've got a question for you guys. Who should be our club captain? I want you to let me know in the comment section down below who you want to be our club captain. Do we give it to a youngster like Connor Chaplin, Reese Oxford, or do we give it to someone that's already more established, like Matt Clark, even though he's still young, or do we give it to someone like Bennett? It's up to you guys. I want you to I want you to let me know who you want our club captain to be. Good chance for Accrington Stanley, and they found the back of the net. Reese Oxford, um, well, you're not going to want to see that one again, are you? Because... You've just given the ball straight to the Accrington Stanley centre-back and he's blasted the ball into the back of the net past Badiashil and we're 1-0 down. Very poor from Reese Oxford there and Mark Hughes, their captain, scores a goal. He couldn't believe his luck. He saw the ball ricocheted at his feet and he thought, why not string a leg at it? And it found its way into the back of the net. So, we need to come up with a response now. So Lookman's using his pace down the right-hand side. Can Lookman create a chance for himself? He cuts back inside with a step over. He's going to go for goal. And it's a fantastic block um, from the defender. Lookman nearly scoring the goal of the series. Going all the way. He should have squared it. Look at the guy in the middle on his own. But I was too concentrating on what Lookman was doing rather than actually doing something else. But it was nearly an own goal from the Accrington Stanley uh, number eight there. But the goalkeeper manages to bail him out as he manages to catch the ball on the goal line. Good chance for Accrington Stanley. They've been played through and the goalkeeper at full stretch making the save. And to be honest, if anyone looks like scoring another goal in this game, it's going to be Accrington Stanley. They are all over us in this game. For some reason, we are really struggling. We've got a chance here. Playable through to Connor Chaplin. Chaplin plays ball through to Laukovic. Laukovic is going to rate for the overlapping run of Lukman. Lukman has been played through. We can see the run at the far post. Or we're going to try and cut back inside. And the step over didn't work. We play ball back to Oma. Oma through to Connor Chaplin. Connor Chaplin to strike it. He's at the post. Oh, that was going to be our chance. I thought we had had it. I thought we were back in the game there. As Colin Chaplin goes for the strike and the goalkeeper, this time making a really good save. Oh, that might have been our chance to get ourselves back in the game. What a counter-attack. But Colin Chaplin only hit the post. And then his second shot is expertly saved from the goalkeeper. So Lookman plays the ball through to Bennett. Bennett's through against goalkeeper. Bennett to strike it. And Bennett has got us back in the game. In the 69th minute, Bennett has scored yet another goal. Lookman with a lovely assist. Plays an expertly weighted ball through to Bennett. Bennett with a first time touch. Takes him towards the goal. And he fires that one into the roof of the net. The goalkeeper has no chance with that one. And is there time to get a winner? So he may have a chance. Bennett's been played through. Bennett is probably going to get uh, caught by Hughes because obviously Bennett's run out of energy. But he squeezed the ball through to Connor Chaplin. Connor Chaplin's cut back inside. It's actually Ben Close. Ben Close goes for goal. And um, I messed that one up. That was my fault because I thought it was Connor Chaplin. That's why I cut back inside on my left boot. And um, it wasn't that far away, was it? Ben Close nearly picking up the goal to win us the game. So now with the last kick of the game, we play ball through to Connor Chaplin. Can Connor Chaplin win us the game? And his very poor effort is easily saved from the Accrington Stanley goalkeeper. And um, that should be it now for the game. I think the referee's going to blow the full-time whistle. There we go. The referee blows it. And that's it for the game. We drop two points. Of course, we're not going to lose our lead at the top of the table because we've got such a healthy one. But I thought we should have beat Accrington Stanley. But to be honest, Accrington Stanley were the better side. So we've got a youth squad monthly report and let's see how he's getting on. He's currently now a 63 overall player. He's got potential between 85 and 94. Igor Cordoso looks like an absolute monster and I cannot wait to get this guy into the academy but he's still too young. When is your birthday mate? I want to know. And the Portsmouth board, this could be interesting. They said, Dear Juicy, as we discussed at the beginning of the season, expanding our brand was an important goal for the club. At this moment, it looks like we may not hit our mark. Please revisit the specific objectives we set out to accomplish and do your best to fulfil them. So, the board are giving us a warning there. They want us to sign one crucial player assigned to a forward position. But the problem is the transfer window is closed and we have no money. What do you want me to do? I brought Lookman. Lookman is a big enough signing, isn't he? Or what do you want, a 70-rated striker? We haven't got the money to do so. 
So guys, as we've just moved into a new month, we will be showing you a squad report. So if you're not familiar with how we show squad reports on my channel, basically at the start of every in-game month, we will show you a squad report. And from that squad report, you will be able to keep track on how all of the players are progressing. But have a look at the players here. A lot of them are progressing very, very nicely. And the good thing is a lot of their valuations are going up. So considering our rating has now dropped to a all-time 50, 52, we need to sign a big striker basically in the transfer window that will be coming up. So therefore, some of these players are going to have to leave the door. And I think probably the most um, reasonable player to leave will probably be our goalkeeper, Badi Ashil. So, I think we're probably going to have to sell Badi Ashil for hopefully, hopefully quite a high amount and bring in another goalkeeper because unless we start getting our rating up, we could be sacked. But we have now got the next game of the episode, which is going to be in the Johnston Paint Trophy. And uh, let's see how we can get on. We're going to be playing at home at Fratton Park up against Millwall. So it's going to be a big game for us. And we've got our first team lineup available. So let's see how we can get on. Play up, Pompey. Millwall got a good chance though. They got the ball with Abdu. Abdu's got a chance to strike it from range. And it's a very poor strike from him as it goes harmlessly wide of the post. So, to be honest, I really do not want to sell our goalkeeper, but because we're not going to have the funds to do so, we're not going to be able to sign a crucial striker for the club, and obviously we're then at the risk of being sacked as a manager. And I think that's ridiculous. For us not signing a striker, we could be sacked, yet we are currently running away with the league division, and yet they're more worried about us signing a crucial striker. Why do we need a crucial striker? We're top of the bloody league. So Cole Bennett playing the ball through to Lookman here. Lookman might have a chance. He's going to cut back inside. Lookman to go all the way on his own. And that's a fantastic sliding challenge from the Millwall centre midfielder. And we've got a chance now from the corner kick. Can we whip that one in a dangerous area and get a good head on it? It comes to Connor Chaplin. Connor Chaplin gets a head on it. And it gets cleared off the line. How close are we going to get to opening the score in here? So the ball's been played through to Lookman. Lookman's got a lovely chance. He's going on a dazing run. Lookman to go for goal. It's a good block. It comes back to Connor Chaplin. Connor Chaplin to go for goal. And the ball's just ricocheting around. Can we get a head on it? No, we can't. We can't a foot on it, sorry. We can't get a foot on it. And uh, it looks like that's going to be it for the first half, which it is a quite eventful first half. But no side can find an opening as of yet. Good chance for Mill 1. They've hit the post. How has their striker missed from there? They won't believe that. Their striker's missed an absolute sitter. And now we've got the chance to go ahead and score at the other end. Connor Chaplin's got the ball. And it's actually the Millwall defender managed to get back in time. But Millwall are actually really applying the pressure now. And it wouldn't surprise me if one of the two sides get a goal very soon. But at the moment, the most likely to get the goal is going to be Millwall. So Lookman's on the ball. Lookman's taking it round his man. He goes for strike from range. And the Millwall goalkeeper makes half-decent save there. But we've got another chance from the corner kick. Omer to whip the ball in the box. It's a good ball. It's going to come to Kosovic in the air. But he can't win it either. And with just 12 minutes remaining, it looks like this could be heading to a penalty shootout. So have we got one last chance here? Lookman's got the ball. Lookman through to Cole Bennett. Oh, lovely challenge from the Millwall defender. And they do get the ball clear. So we're just three minutes in game time. There is literally a few seconds left to this match. Have we got something in us to get a winning goal? We play the ball back and we lose possession. Millwall have got a chance to go on the counter-attack here. And we've got to make a tactical foul. Ender Stevens, bring him down, man. Bring him down. It doesn't matter because Carl, Ed Carl Edwards, Marcus Edwards, Woods gets back in time and uh, we win possession back. But we've got one last chance here. Bennett's on the ball. Bennett through to Lookman and uh, the ball from Bennett's not hard enough. And that could be it. Or oh, Connor Chaplin's on the ball. Connor Chaplin to strike it from range. Connor Chaplin. Oh, it's over the bar. He nearly done it like he did in the previous round against Luton. He nearly scored a late, late goal. But his shot went just over the bar. The goalkeeper at full stretch. And I think we could be heading for a penalty shootout. So we may have a chance. Connor Chaplin's been played through. He's through one on with the goalkeeper. Can Connor Chaplin find the back of the net? He strikes it and he finds the top corner. Connor Chaplin has done it as he always does. In the 100th minute, we play the ball through to him from Marcus Edwards. It comes to Connor and what a strike that is right into the top hand corner. The goalkeeper wasn't going to be saving that one. It looks like we might be progressing to the semi-final. Good chance for Millwall and they've scored. 
Our goalkeeper, I thought, had saved it. But Morrison scores the goal for them just three minutes after we score. We let our guard down. We have defended so well all game. Baker tries to cut out the cross. It's a good strike from their, from their striker. And the goalkeeper, can you blame him for that? He gets a strong hand on it. Not strong enough. And it's 1-1. So Millwall with the last chance of the game here. They got the ball down the wing. Are they going to break Pompey Hearts? Our goalkeeper comes out. He's got to claim that one. At least he gets a good punch on it. And now it's in the 120th minute. I think that could be it now. We try and play the ball over the top to Bennett. Bennett is flat out on his feet. I don't think he's going to get there. He doesn't. And the referee blows a full-time whistle. A penalty shoot. Oh, it is. So here we go. It's going to be Portsmouth versus Millwall. It's going to be decided on the penalty shootout. So Baker's got the first penalty of the game. He's going to go to the right-hand side, and that's a lovely penalty from Baker on number seven into the back of the net. So now it's going to be Badiashil versus Morrison. Morrison, the actual player that beat Badiashil in normal time. Can Badiashil claim the throne? He can't, even though he goes the right way. It's a lovely penalty from um, the um, striker there. So Lookman's going to go for a different approach. He's going to stumble the run-up. He goes to the right-hand side, and he misses the penalty. It's a good save from the goalkeeper. So now it's going to be Badiashil versus Martin. Come on, Badiashil. You need to save this one. Come on. Let's see if we can get a good hand on to it. He can't. He goes the wrong way. And they find the back of the net. So now it's going to be Connor Chaplin. Surely Connor Chaplin's going to find the back of the net. Of course he does. We can rely on him. And uh, now it all eyes on our goalkeeper. Our goalkeeper's got to make the save. He goes to the... They've all gone to the left-hand side. We've got to find the back of the net now. Bennett. Bennett's go to the top right. And that's a lovely penalty from Bennett into the back of the net. Come on, goalkeeper. Do we go to the right or do we go to the left? What do we do? We're going to go to the left-hand side. We're going to go to the left. He goes the right way, but it hits the post and goes in. We've got to score. Marcus Edwards has got to score. The left-footed player is going to go to the right-hand side. He's missed his penalty. And we're out of the competition. The goalkeeper saving two penalties. Celebrating like he just won the World Cup. And Portsmouth are out of the Johnston Paint Trophy. A little disappointing there that we couldn't, in fact, win the game. Marcus Edwards' penalty isn't the best. It's a good save from the goalkeeper. But we are out. After extra time, unfortunately... We have lost a game. But I suppose it's not the worst case scenario. The board aren't going to be that bothered. Because the one that they're actually bothered is the FA Cup. The even harder competition. However, that is in fact going to be it for this episode of Career Mode. Only two games in this episode because we had extra time and penalties in that one. Otherwise, the videos are just going to be too long. But thank you so much for watching this episode of Career Mode. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit the like button down below as it is going to be hugely appreciated. And don't forget, if you're around here, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos and career modes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.